Laverne, California. Just 30 miles from Los Angeles, this suburb is home to a neighborhood Italian bistro called Charlie's. And in 2010, it was bought by the Leva family. Would you like a booth? I started working here 10 years ago. I was a waitress here. And then I had the opportunity to take it over, but I didn't have the money or the collateral, so I had to go to my mom and my sister. Pat and Val, both full-time school teachers, financed the restaurant and put their houses up as collateral to help Tatiana fulfill her dream. My mom and I don't know about the restaurant business, and so we put a lot of trust in my sister's experience to run the restaurant. Tati, are we gonna have enough bread for tonight? Of course. When I took over the restaurant, I didn't want to change the menu or the chef. I just wanted to keep it as is because I love this restaurant. How are we doing? That's not good. But it didn't pan out the way I wanted it to. I could sit here all day and have maybe four tables at the most. How many tables did you have, Jen? I only had one. That doesn't even pay for the cost of just running electricity. Who's going to bring the people in? I don't know. The problem with the restaurant is Tatiana. The fact that she feels like she doesn't have to change things, it's ridiculous. If they don't like this term of they're crazy. The best term of is the food, um, oh, it's disgusting. Casimero is our head chef. He's been here for 14 years, and he's pretty awful. Yeah. It's, not, it's a little chewy, actually. Basically, the restaurant's suffering for it. Do we have any tables that are happy? When Tatiana manages the restaurant, usually that consists of standing around with a glass of wine in her hand. All right. She's very disrespectful. You're talking out of your ass. Rude. Stop it. I told you. Most people end up crying. Don't you dare. <laughs> I need a drink. Tatiana doesn't know how to handle being an owner. Don't drink so much, OK? My mom and my sister already resent me for asking them to put their houses on the line. I don't know how we're going to make it this month. They play the blame game. This is Tatiana's fault. We wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for Tatiana. But they didn't put a gun to their head. What are we going to do now? If we don't get more customers, we would lose our houses. It is very serious. I really need Chef Ramsey's help. Oh, I'm scared what's going to happen. I just don't understand, like, what else I could do. rainy day in California. What better way to pick you up than a nice lunch? Right, Charlie's Italian food. Oh. Hi. <laughs> when Chef walked in, I just laughed. Because <laughs> that's what, I, I don't know what to do with this nervous energy and this anxiety. How are you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and this is? Tatiana. Tatiana. Yeah. Is, uh, is Charlie in? No, he's not. OK. The restaurant's called Charlie. Who is he? Charlie was the original owner. Charlie owned it. Charlie owned it. So there's no Charlie? No, no. I used to work here as a waitress um, oh, okay. when right. Charlie owned okay. it. And then he sold it to another person named Simon. OK, great. And then when Simon ran this into the ground, he dumped it. Simon bought it off Charlie mm -hmm. and then dumped it on you. Just dumped it in general. And then I took it over because I loved this restaurant. We took it over. My mom and my sister. Oh, is it? Yeah. Chris, hello. I'm Val. Val, nice to see you, darling. Nice to see you. And this is? I'm Pat. Pat, nice to see you, my darling. Um, why don't you come over, Val and Mum? It'd be nice to catch up and get up to speed of what's happening. Right. Where can we go somewhere? Uh, we can somewhere go outside quiet? if you'd like. Shall we? Yeah. Let's go outside. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Tatiana needs to learn effective ways of doing things around here. So, um, first of all, it's so important that I catch up with what's been happening. Whose idea was this, to run a restaurant? Her dream. I've loved this restaurant. I've worked here since I was 20 years old. I know, but working in a business to running a business completely two different uh, scenarios. Yeah, it's completely different. Two, okay. How much money did you need to get on the table before you took over? Mom put all her retirement money into it. Really? And the collateral, you know, the house. And her house. My condo, yeah. So if the restaurant goes, your houses go. Wow. Um, and how much money did you put in? Um, probably like a thousand bucks. Okay. 
financially. Where are we? The restaurant's in debt at this point. That's not good. And who makes the decisions here? Tatiana. Well, they have other jobs as well. So you have a full-time job and you come in here to run the restaurant? Right. Wow. So what's gone wrong then? I don't know. You don't know? Wow. So then what's the changes you made when you bought it? Nothing changed. OK. So Simon ran it in a bad way, didn't give a shit about the customers, and it was appallingly led. But you haven't changed anything. You know? That's been a major issue. Help me understand, because I'm confused. The risk is little on your side, yet mammoth for you. And yet, you're not even in control of the business. Right. Wow. I just don't know what I've done so wrong. Like, I don't know. Uh, I think we've seen a much clearer, uglier side of her. This is the thing. I don't think they trust me or they... Well, you brought them into a mess. But what it comes down to is that she does not treat us as equals. Don't even start. You talk down to me, you bulldoze me, you do not treat me like an equal. Uh, you don't treat me like one third of this restaurant. Well, I have the burden of the money and I'm making $2 an hour. She gets paid that much, but she also gets a car. She gets her cell phone paid for, her gas. Wow. OK, so if you could get out of this, would you do it? Looking back, would this make a very you know, risky and stupid decision. My sister doesn't have that burden of losing her house, so she's never been really responsible. Listen, I'm back to eat. Nice to meet you, all three of you, and I'm going to see what I've got to work with. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It's emotionally draining, and it's a scary situation. Nice. Here we go. For you. Thank you very much. My name is Genevieve, and I'm going to be your server. Can okay. I get you started with anything? Let's go. Um, right, let's start off with the toasted ravioli. Okay. The uh, frutta de mare. Okay. Uh, the lasagna. It's not your typical lasagna, so be prepared for something different. Which means something different. It's primary. Don't, don't, save it, save it, save it. Are you sure? Absolutely. All right. And we're in California, so why not um, chicken pizza? Okay. Excellent. And who makes the bread? Uh, Casimiro, our head chef. Yes. Ready? Thank you. Bread's dreadful. The dough ball. Wet, soggy, horrible dough. Damn. Do it, Casimiro. Toasted ravioli for the chef Ramsey. See. I don't like any of the food, so I really don't think that he will either. Oh. Thank you very much. Wow, 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 wow. Which bit's the toasted bit? Yeah, I, I never rec have recommended the ravioli. I mean, they're raw. Yeah, a lot of people don't like that. They're either really raw or they're just like cardboard. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I mean, they're dangerous. Does she eat them? Tatiana, does she eat that dish? No. No, will you ask her to taste one for me? Okay. And then I think she'll 86 them. Toasted ravioli, really? Yeah, sounds like the owners are toast. He said taste it and agree with him and 86 it. Don't say anything to the chefs. Just let them be calm. Come on, then. No, it's OK. I can't take food back there. None of us can take food back there. That's not how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to go straight to the chef and say, this is wrong. Wow. This is the fruit de mare. Fruit de mare. Yes. Wow. It's a bizarre looking fruit de mare. Okay, great. Thank you, my darling. Pasta's mush. It's way overcooked. Oh my god. Strands of mozzarella. Is that mozzarella on top of that? Yes, it is. It's on a fruit de mare. And then the pasta. It's just mush. So it's almost like it's canned. And the mussels taste uh, like old stout. Are they fresh mussels? I don't no. think so. And the shrimps, these ones are way overcooked. And Those these ones, ones are ones gray. Strange. Yeah. This has been going on for like a month or two now. He's just been thinning out bad shrimp, and we don't know why. Genevieve doesn't shut up. And do you not tell the chef? <laughs> well, I can't take complaints to the chef. Seriously? Um, Tatiana doesn't really listen to any of us. <laughs> wow. Not good. What the hell is that? What it's is that? It's a lasagna. That's a lasagna? 
The lasagna is vile. It's embarrassing to serve that to Chef Ramsay. What's in the sauce? Why is it that color? It's pink sauce. She doesn't know what's in it. Pink sauce with lasagna. Is it his own recipe? Yes, it is. The sauce tastes bizarre. And the um, mouthful I had was um, stone cold. It's hot one side, cold the other. Is that microwaved? It might be. Don't, don't answer a question you don't know. Oh. Wow. Right. Um, is there a problem with these microwave? Not that I'm aware no. of. It feels like the microwave's on the blink. Yes, it is. Wow. When a restaurant can't get food microwaved properly, my all time low. Let me answer these questions. Still, there's always hope for the pizza, especially when you look at nothing like that. All right, maybe we can win him over with the pizza. It's crispy, isn't it? No. It's oh, como bien. It's pizza, it's good, it's good. Sí, pero no es como menos cocido. What's it? Oh, here's my pizza. Now this the garlic chicken. Oh, God, I hope he likes something. <laughs> Doughy. So bready, so doughy, and got all this raw pastry underneath there. Oh, no, he doesn't like the pizza. It resembles nothing homemade. Oh, my god. They've got a pizza that's come out of the oven. That feels like something that's been frozen. He hates our pizza. He hates our pizza. What a shame. <laughs> oh, dear. Is it, is it that bad, Chef? Uh, yeah, it's not funny. Uh, I don't know what the giggles and the laughing is about, but the dishes have been dreadful. Okay. I'm trying not to cry, but he's gonna come after me. I can feel it. Oh my god. You seriously have a kitchen nightmare? After a lunch in which every dish had a failing grade, it's hot one side, cold the other. Dreadful. Owner Tatiana refused to pass on any of Chef Ramsay's criticism. This is um, Chef Casimiro. Casimiro, how are you? The head yeah. chef. Excellent. And first name? Daniela. Daniela, good to see you. But the uninformed kitchen crew is about to be enlightened. So just explain, um, who's the head chef, please? Casimiro. Do you speak a little English, Casimiro? No. No. I, uh, I'm upset. I mean, you have a really bad, depressing restaurant. But this place is a mess. And you know what? It's not even mediocre. The food is hideous. You don't need me to tell you that. For bread, that's the kind of bread that you're serving. Touch it. It's soaking wet, it's bland, and it's a 1,000 miles away from anything called focaccia, let me tell you. It's embarrassing. Pink lasagna, stone cold in the center, piping hot on the right-hand side. Disgusting. I just, I trust them so much, I trust him. I You're let, him, full I of let shit. him do it. You I just trust let him do them? It. I just trusted him to, to know what he was doing because he's been doing it for so long. No, the problem is he's got away with it for so long. Fruit de marin with the overcooked linguine in a seafood dish. No salt, the shrimps solid like a bullet, and mussels that didn't even taste fresh. Where are the mussels from? Sure. Show me. I mean, come on. What a mess. I mean, well, what? What else do you freeze? I don't know. You want to come see? Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, if you don't know, let's find out. What is it that? You freeze meatballs? When were these made? We buy them. You buy them meatballs? He can't make a meatball? You want to play this, uh, uh, standard meatballs at key? Sure, where were we? He said, yeah, we can. He can make a meatball, he doesn't want to. No quieres hacer meatballs or? No, no compramos. Oh, wow. Can you make a meatball? Yeah. My hands are tied in this kitchen. I don't have any input on what goes on. Tatiana should step up to the plate, and she should know what's going on in the kitchen. That's her job. What is that? Noodles. Noodles? What's the chef expecting? A rush on pasta? Wow. How much pasta does one chef need? He's obsessed with it. It's all, all overcooked. What's in this one? Pizza dough. Holy crap. This is just for the pizza, not the bread. Not the bread. And this dough here? Same thing. Small and large. Small and large. Small and large. Look at this one, then. My god. What the fuck? This is what goes on daily. 
All that bread like this and all that pasta. Wow. What's he doing with all this stuff? I have to prepare for the mornings for the volume of people. There's not enough time to prepare everything with everything he has to prepare in the day. So what happens when he doesn't sell this? Where does it go? Throw it away. He throws it away. How much do we throw away? There are times where we've thrown away a lot of pasta because people aren't ordering it. Paddy and Val, this is your house. This is you. This is your life right here in the trash. Tatiana, what I'm more concerned about is the fact that you're oblivious. You're like an airhead that's got her head in the clouds. This is business. It was a unsuccessful business before. You picked it up and maintained that unsuccessful menu in an unsuccessful business. You come in, change nothing. You can't direct any form of criticism or standards to your chefs. I don't even know why you bought the place. And I certainly wouldn't pull my sister down and bring my parents into it to facilitate your ego dream. Don't you understand? Like, I look at my mother and I feel horrible. I feel horrible that Excuse I Excuse me. To her. Don't start looking for sympathy now. Who I'm wanted this place? Sympathy, I'm I sorry. It wasn't your mother's dream. It certainly wasn't Val's dream. Or am I wrong? No, it was Tati's dream. Tati's dream, which has now come back to bite you on the ass. What hurts me is not how you feel. It's what's going to happen to them if this doesn't work. House gone, house gone. What are you going to do? I don't know, Gordon. I don't know. But why did you do it? Because I, I thought I could make it successful because I believed in myself. What, and not make changes? What the hell were you thinking? Where are you going? Wow. What a joke. I resent my sister for putting me in this position. She needs to be knocked off her high horse. And now Chef Ramsay's making her really see that she does not know it all. It's like, I just feel completely alone and worthless. And I don't know what to do. Night one is usually an observation night for Chef Ramsay, but things are so bad here at Charlie's. Chef. I'll be two seconds, okay? He decides to make one change right away. Casemiro, Daniela. Okay, we're gonna make homemade meatballs. I want you to make me a meatball, and I want you to make me a meatball. I'd like to taste yours, I'd like to taste yours. I'll be back later, yeah? Casimiro shouldn't have a problem with since he's worked in an Italian restaurant for 15 years. And watching Casimiro in, like, I cringe because he doesn't know what he's doing. How are you? So, what did you do? You didn't fry them off? He's not even frying them off, he's just boiling them in sauce? Tatiana, when you make a meatball, you have a pan, frying pan, you soak the meat and you finish it off in sauce. You don't know that? No. 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 What season you put in there? There's just nothing in there. It's just like boiled meatballs. Look at them. It's like cat food. How are you cooking yours? I was touching. OK, good. Let me have a little taste that. Bring it out. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Lovely. Soft. Yeah. Crumbly. Delicious. And we're going to use them tonight. They're going on the menu tonight. No, me gusta eso. Fucking hell. You're the sous chef. You should be the fucking head chef. T uh, Tatiana, I get nervous when a chef can't even make a meatball. I mean, uh, honestly. And this young lady's flavor of her meatball is 10 times greater. Casimiro couldn't make a meatball correctly, but. I don't think he is a bad cook. Necesitamos enseñarlo en this. Tú eres bueno. Casimiro, you're bueno. Be strong. Be strong.
as dinner service begins. Hi guys, welcome to Charlie's. Table for six. Our specialty tonight is spaghetti and meatballs. Chef Ramsay is giving a tutorial on meatballs in an Italian restaurant. They're going to have a color on there that adds richness and a nice deep flavor. Okay. And are we ready to order, or do we need a minute? Spaghetti and meatballs. Okay. Shrimp pilaf. Shrimp pilaf. Primero, mushroom, pilaf, spaghetti bolognese, fruta de mare y alfredo con pollo. Oh, God. Okay, we have today's spaghetti con meatballs, spinach, ravioli. Yeah, but I mean, no, 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 I try to say something, Casimiro, about ticket times. He will just ignore me. Casimiro? Okay. What ticket is he working on now, darling? He's working on the... Uh, He's working what? on this one. Why? Okay. I haven't even gotten to those. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. With Casimiro working at his own pace, the dining room's patience is so hungry. It's being tested. Yeah, we're just... I'm, you know, I'm diabetic. I can't wait any longer. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Necesitamos platos. As food finally makes its way into the dining room. I am sorry, guys. Spaghetti with meatballs. Spaghetti with meatballs. Finally. Customers find out. I think the pasta is a little overcooked. It's a it was definitely not worth the wait. It tastes more like Chinese food than Italian food. more like Chinese food. Spinach ravioli mas cocido. What have you done? What the fuck have you done? Stop. No, 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 listen, you fucking donkey. Danielle, come here. I want you to stop. What are you doing? Oh, come on. He said he was working and he couldn't watch him. Oh, come on. I know. Get me Tatiana, please. Please, darling. Is it not cooked? They're all kind of burned on one side. Where's Tatiana? She's dealing there complaining about the meatballs. We need her now. We need her now. No. Chef needs you now. Chef, I'm having complaints about the meatballs. Yeah, yeah, l l listen, listen. But put that down. I've got a fucking bigger... No, I didn't say throw it away. Come on, sweetheart. I showed him how to cook one off. My back's turned to two minutes, and that's what I've got. Burnt shit stuck to a pan. He turned around to Danielle, hold on, and said to Danielle, I've got... Uh, I'm busy, I can't watch my meatballs. That's what I've got to work for. What's your complaint on the meatball? They said it was, like, toasted on one side but not toasted on the other. Really? How about telling your fucking chef? OK, you go here. Now he's getting upset with me because I caught him out. When a guy can't make a meatball or even season one, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. And then when I watch a chef that cooks and sticks food up there, holds it, and we're not even talking homemade food, we're talking bought in store boards. My God, it hurts. OK, you cook it. And look at that for a stinking attitude. Look at that. A disgusting attitude. Ask him to put his house in the fucking mix. If his house was on the line, he wouldn't be cooking like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Now he thinks it's funny. You think it's funny? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's a joke. Vas a cocinar? No. What does he want to do? He doesn't want to cook. He doesn't want to cook. Get your head out of your ass. Do we have any more spaghetti and meatballs? Do we have any more meatballs? Do we have any more spaghetti and meatballs? Or... What's it? I feel like I don't know what I'm doing here. Maybe I have no idea how to run a restaurant. Maybe I don't. Tatiana, you're not just responsible I'm for so the dining I'm so you're responsible. You're responsible for the whole thing. I'm sorry, but the whole thing. I guess I had him on a pedestal. Come outside. <laughs> What are you doing? I don't know. I just thought he was something better than what you're Open showing me. Open your eyes. I I've never did. seen anything so ridiculous. I know that. And to stand there with his arms folded and give me shit on the back of screwing up something that I went out and bought half an hour before we opened because I was trying to install a little he bit of passion. He just kept telling me, like, I just don't have enough time. He cooks one dish at a time. A six top and the other dish, you just sit there. And you're scared of that? Where the fuck do we go? I've been his friend for 10 years. I know it's I'm family. I'm sorry. It's well, kids. OK, it's great. Kids. He's got kids, and so does your sister. 
It's your fucking business. Come on. Honestly. Italian cafe. Wow. <laughs> After Casimiro ruined the meatballs, what the fuck have you done? And has now refused to cook. Vas a cocinar? No. Chef Ramsay is frustrated, not Excuse only me. by the chef, but also by Tatiana's lack of management. I've been his friend for 10 years. I know it's I'm family. sorry. Well, kids, okay, kids, great. Kids. He's got kids. And so does your sister. It's your fucking business. Come on. Honestly. Italian cafe. Wow. What a joke. <laughs> Chef, don't leave. Please don't leave. I don't know what to do. It's I, my fault. I just, it's, I, all I, my fault. It, it, it's just insane. No restaurant anywhere in this country functions like that. Just help us because I can't. I can't have it fail. No vas a ayudarme? What's it? When a chef outlast two owners already, trust me, there's something not quite right. Because if the owner previously, i.e. Charlie, was that fucking invested in his chef, trust me, he would have gone with him. him. He would have gone with him. It's not rocket science, Tatiana. And you're a smart girl. How could I have not seen this? Well, you're scared to upset somebody, yet you're happy to see all three family members homeless. But they rely on you to manage the restaurant. They depend on you to give them that security. I feel. Not some chef that won't even take on board what you're trying to say. Stand in there for five minutes, just watch what they do. That's if he's, you know, happy to cook again. So I need to fire him. I'm not asking you to fire him. I'm asking you to take responsibility. I'm so embarrassed by the restaurant in general, and it's all my fault. And I'm the only one to blame because I'm the owner, and I'm doing such a horrible job. Put all your orders in, we're closed. Put them in, I want to close. I guess I just have been walking around with like a sheet over my face and not seeing these little things that are so easy to see. Val, mom, I need to talk to you now. You need to go outside. Okay. I'm mad at myself. I need to be the owner of this restaurant. We have to fire Casper. Thank you. All the mistakes that he's made tonight. He doesn't take any direction. He's giving chef attitude. He's, he's the problem. Can't even make a meatball. That's the only thing that I think is right. This hard, OK? And I need time to out. And you need time. I need to do it. Hi, everyone. Have a good night. Amber, get out of the kitchen. Casimiro, Marvel. Necesitamos hablar. Sí, dime. Casimiro, After finally understanding what her chef was really doing to her restaurant, Vas a cocinar? No. Los dos necesitan ir. Tatiana makes her first big change since becoming an owner. Where's uh, 
Tatiana. I think she's crying in the bathroom. Tatiana let Casimir go. Okay. Okay. Listen, I know it was hard. Yeah, but, yeah, I'm here. I'm here to support you. Okay. Okay, we've got two seconds. Let's have a quick word. Okay. Please. Val. Thanks, Sam. Honestly, I think the lie went on for you. I think you sort of yeah. woke up and started making some tough decisions. I don't think you've ever done that since you bought this place. Tomorrow's a new day. And, you know, I've got ideas, let me tell you. OK, good night. After one of the most difficult days he has ever had on Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay is now completely focused on rebuilding Charlie's. Today's about moving forward. What we haven't got is somebody at the helm. We need a leader, like any good kitchen. I'd like to introduce you to someone who's pretty unique. Jonathan, come through, please. Oh, my God. Good to see you, bud. Chef, how you doing? Very well indeed, thank you. Now, this man knows how to put restaurants on the map. More importantly, he's been working with me for the last three years. He's opened four restaurants in the last five years. You've got him for the month. I am thrilled. We have a chef. It's like Christmas morning. <laughs> I'm so excited. Jonathan also comes with an assistant. To make sure that we get this going. Oh my god! Not only will he get this place consistent, he'll help find a young chef, train a young chef, and Tatiana. If there's one person you need to get close to, right now is this man. Come here, come here. <laughs> I'm really happy. Get everything set up for you guys and get you guys off the races, eh? This is definitely the beginning of a new Charlie's. Hair up, grab an apron, let's go. Now with the new chefs in place. Let's go, Tatiana. Okay. Gordon knows it's critical that Tatiana is familiar with the inner workings of the kitchen. So I just go maybe right to the just to the right of it, right in the middle there. Perfect. When was the last time you made a lasagna? I've never made a lasagna. I've never made lasagna ever. That's crazy. Let's start off with mixing. Take your white sauce, nice and clean, with your plastic scraper. Good. Get close to it. Got nothing to be intimidated by. Absolutely. I need to learn what needs to happen in a kitchen and how it functions. That's it. Good. Again, take your time. More. Faster. There's nothing complicated. I'm going to learn this restaurant from scratch. I want to take the baby steps and get better. Pretty much neck and neck. Well done. Okay. okay. In the oven. 25 minutes. I don't know why I thought I couldn't do it. It is not difficult, I'm telling you. So you guys just made pizzas. Doesn't that look amazing? Yeah. Give me, give me. I feel like I can do anything. Dig in. I just can't wait to get to work and prove to my mom and my sister that I can do this. I think the message is clear. Nobody's scared mm. to walk through that door yeah. and get their hands dirty in that kitchen. No, we're not. Tomorrow's a big day, let me tell you. I need everyone on their game. Good night, guys. Get some sleep. Thanks. Thank you very much, chefs. Oh, my god. <laughs> Last night, Tatiana and her team eagerly learned a few of the new recipes. Good morning. Now Chef Ramsay is ready to unveil an entirely revamped menu. Oh, Here we are. Please take a copy of the menu and pass it along, please. Oh, my god. Uh, first of all, we have a dynamic, simple, clean menu, right? Now, let's start off with a homemade focaccia bread. Oh. Yeah. Seasoned with rosemary and garlic, drizzled in olive oil. Salads. We have the chopped salad. In there, you've got garbanzo beans, provolone cheese, salami, finished with some fresh Amalfi lemon. So it's got that really nice oomph to it as well. Entrees, pan-seared salmon served with a white bean ragu. Phenomenal. Absolutely delicious. Next to that, we've got something that's a staple. Spaghetti meatballs, absolutely delicious. And then finally, pizzas, four of them. Margarita, prosciutto, zucchini, done with the shrimp and the meat lovers. Mm. And again, we have a massive asset there in that pizza oven, and we're going to take advantage of that. Right, thing. right. Yeah? Dig in. Let's oh go. Oh, my gosh. This is so beautiful. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. I am thrilled. This is amazing. This is like the menu of my dreams. Oh my god. The pizzas are incredible. Mm. Oh my god. I love that. I know. I'm excited for the new menu. I mean, it's beautiful. It's delicious. Chef Ramsay, you're my boy, dude.
It's relaunch night as Charlie's opens its doors for dinner. Welcome to Charlie's. And the town of Laverne is anxious to give it another try. We'll go to zucchini pizza. I'm gonna have the panini. So I'll put that right in. And with Chef Jonathan and Chef Peter running the kitchen. We got two fried calamari coming right now. It's up to Tatiana to make sure the rest of the team are up to the task. My name is Tatiana. I'm the owner. If you need anything, please let me know. Calamari go out on P1. The calamari is in there right now. Val, this order's up. It's the tomato soup, the Caesar salad. Order up, fried calamari. With the kitchen staff working together, food quickly makes its way to the diners. Tomato soup, did you guys order some calamari? Yes. But not all the customers are receiving their meals. You guys, your food's not even here yet. My yeah, I was gone. kind of hoping that show up at the same time. I have a question. Yes. Um, that was my entree, my dinner? Yes. And I know. It tasted great, but... It's the only thing that's out here. I know. I'm done eating, and they don't have no food. I'm going to go ask the kitchen right now? Yes, All please. right. Nice, thank you. Pizza came out. The entrees haven't come out. Did they come all in as an entree? Yes. I'm trying not to cry, but this is really bad. Why are you guys not talking to each other? Why are you not talking to the chef, you guys? It's a nightmare. Tanya. Yes, chef. How many pizzas we got on there? Two margaritas and a meat lover, chef. So you've got two margaritas and meat lovers on there. You've got three pizzas on, yeah? Yeah, I already did them, yes. Yeah, they're already gone. Fuck me. And it soon becomes apparent that there's a detrimental lack of communication between the wait staff and the pizza station. And I don't know if the meal has come out for this yet. Before you send a pizza, you've got to check in with Jonathan. You're sending your pizza in your own little world. We've got to stick together, guys. You have to talk to him. Yes, Chef. They need to communicate. I'm telling them, Chef. I don't know what to do now. It's relaunch night at Charlie's. And with some of the tables receiving incomplete orders. I'm done eating, and they don't have no food. A night that started off with so much promise is on the brink of disaster. They need to communicate. I'm telling them, Chef. They need to communicate. I don't know what to do now. I feel overwhelmed. I'm having a moment of, like, maybe I'm not cut out for this. Come here a minute. Come here a minute. We're going to go down in history as the biggest fucking shithole in the van. You need to step up. I am stepping up, Chef, no, but I'm only one person. Nobody listens to me. Tomorrow, we're going to be fucking closed at this rate. Get them together and wake them up. Come on, please. This is ultimately my restaurant. I am the captain of the ship. Just come over here now. And I'm not going to give up. Audrey, over here now. Come here. Why are you guys not talking to each other? Why are you not talking to the chef, you guys? He talks. He's not Casimiro. Talk to him. If you don't know what's going on, talk to me. If you need help, ask somebody, OK? All right, get it? Yes. Get back to your tables. I can't do this alone. OK, the prosciutto pizza for Audrey on Cameo 7? Yes, I'm going to cook it right now. Yes. OK, I'm leaving them here. Leaving them here. With Tatiana stepping up and organizing her staff. Talk to each other. Jen, you're, you're walking around. Everyone is now in sync. Is it almost ready for the prosciutto? The prosciutto is ready. Yeah. Let's do this. Me lovers. And entrees are quickly making their way out to the tables together. And here's pizza. Oh my god. I can't go through this. I need to take my. This is the best lasagna I've ever had. You're okay? I love your oh gosh, it's So good. I know. It's so good. The customers are totally loving everything. They're happy. They're enjoying it. And I'm proud of this restaurant now. I'm proud of it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. All tickets are gone. Tatiana has finally stepped up, and I'm so proud to say that she's my boss. Give me five. Thank you for coming. Come back and see us. Oh, gosh, thank you. Listen, tough night. It wasn't expecting to be a perfect night, let me tell you. But trust me, overall, it was successful. Customers loved the food, and what you did get an insight tonight, too, was the, the, the potential of this place. We can't give up. The foundation's here. Run with it. Yeah, yes. Good. Well done to you all. Can I have a little word with you, please? Good night, ladies. Nice. Good yeah, job. Nice. Yeah? I definitely believe in my sister. She's learned what it takes to run a restaurant, and she's got the tools to bring this restaurant to greatness. Well done, well done, well done. You're courageous, you're bloody hardworking, and you're young. So you've got the energy now to take this place even further. I know what needs to change. I know what I have a lot of work sure. to do. But mark this as a significant day. This is no longer Charlie's restaurant, no longer Simon's. It's yours. This restaurant now is Tatiana's restaurant. Continue it. I okay? will. I'm going to make luck. you so proud. I can't wait to come back here. Yeah?
You change lives, Gordon Ramsay. Come on. You really do. You changed yeah. my life. <laughs> this has not just been about the restaurant. This has been about everything in my life. You are like an angel. You have no idea. I love him. He's literally saved me. And it's like a dream come true. <laughs> Wow, when I first arrived here, Tatiana's priorities were all in the wrong order. She was fighting with her family, arguing with the staff, and more importantly, paid no attention to her kitchen. We made a massive turnaround here, and now Tatiana has her priorities all in the right place. But more importantly, she's in control of her business, and I've got every confidence that this little bistro will be a huge success. After Gordon left... I've got the two steaks going. OK, so I'm working this salad. Chef Jonathan maintained the high standards in the kitchen. Is there anything you want me to have the girls push right now? And immediately helped Tatiana launch the search for a new chef. Hi, how are you? And thanks to her transformation, not only is her business back on track... It's the first Charlie's staff meeting. <laughs> but so is her relationship with her family. I owe Chef Ramsay, like, everything. He has molded me into the business owner I need to be. When he comes back, he's going to be like, you've got it, Tatiana, yes.